So I wanted to share with you today my thoughts on being a real mother. And I'm not talking about the way that our kids perceive us in motherhood. I'm actually talking about how we are with other mothers, how we are with our community and our society that we live within. So what I'm talking about is being authentic and truthful about the challenges, the highs and the lows that we experience during motherhood. There seems to be this society pressure for us to be the perfect mum and to have the perfect kids. There's so much comparison that happens in terms of our kids' development or achievements or how we feel within ourselves, um, how our body bounces back after motherhood. People are just making so many judgments and unfortunately the person that makes some of the most judgments are ourselves. When we're constantly in that state of comparison, we're not living our authentic truth um, and we're not able to enjoy motherhood or see it for what it really is. You know, it's an opportunity for us to experience the full gambit of human emotion. There are so many times when we are so blissfully in love with our little ones and then there are so many times that we're tearing our hair out thinking what have we got ourselves into. So when I talk about being authentic and truthful, I think it's really important that we have those honest conversations with other mums. So, um, you know, being honest if we're not coping. And that doesn't necessarily mean that we're asking, you know, an acquaintance of a mother for help, but just giving off the perception so that they realize that everything's not peachy over here and perhaps it's okay if everything's not peachy over on their camp either. So um, I often drop my daughter off at a kindy program quite early in the mornings. And there's been a, an occasion where another mother has said to me, oh, gee, you're good getting here on time. And Melbourne traffic is not my friend, but I do try and drop my daughter off on time. So that means that on occasion I have been um, <laughs> secretly wearing my pyjamas uh, underneath my big Melbourne coat as I drop her off. And you actually have to physically get out of the car and walk her into the school as well. So I didn't have pyjama pants on, but, you know, and I just said to her, I said, I'm actually <laughs> still got my pyjamas on, you know, my daughter's ready, but um, I'm not. So, you know, I could have easily just taken on board that as a compliment, but I think it's really important that we are honest with each other as mothers. So I think that it really does stem from this idea of needing to be a perfect mother and that we feel that we need to portray uh, that we are a perfect mother to those around us in fear of judgment that we're anything less than. So I think it's really important to make this distinction about our, what we're capable of because as women we are capable of everything and we want to raise our daughters to believe that that's the case. Except I asked you to question at what expense. So we only have a limited number of hours in the day or energy to expend without pushing ourselves over the edge before we burn out. So if being capable means doing it all, then perhaps that's not the healthiest way to approach life or motherhood for that matter. So I think that we need to have that honest conversation about our energy levels and perhaps about the things that we're not doing. So I do not have a very tidy house and my husband can attest to this. And sometimes it drives me absolutely crazy. I'm like, there's too many toys on the floor and I trip over and hurt myself or my daughter will do the same. But, um, you know, I do my washing once a week and I never iron and my husband needs his business shirts ironed. So we'll do that every few weeks. But um, everything else just gets not really even folded into the drawer, um, just thrown in, because for me, that's not necessarily my biggest priority. So, you know, I let things slide around the house. Um, I know that there's a big movement for conscious and mindful parenting, um, and I think that that is really important, that the way that we have the opportunity to actually um, reassess how we want to parent our children, but that doesn't necessarily make us perfect parents. So, you know, I still... Um, have issues with frustration and yelling. It drives my husband insane because he's like the calmest person ever when it comes to conflict. Um, and so I'm working on that as a parent, but you know, I'm open and honest that I have a bit of a temper and after a long day um, where I'm just trying to keep it together, trying to keep it together and then something is the straw that breaks uh, the camel's back and I let loose, 
You know, I take that as an opportunity to ask my daughter for forgiveness and apologize for my behavior because I'm not perfect. So I think that the other um, area that we also need to have the conversation is in when things are actually going really well. So because some people, some mothers aren't necessarily having a good time of things, I think that we tend to sort of dumb down when we're, and we're actually in this really good place with motherhood. So I think it's um, not everyone's experience, but there are certainly those times when we feel absolutely elated with the fact that we've got these little ones who we can call our own. And I think that that's really special. So it's in those moments when that real authenticity comes out um, and I think that we should be able to share that with those around us. But that doesn't mean having like a Facebook or Instagram perfect life of all of the things that are going really well. Um, it's about having that honest conversation that we can appreciate those moments, but we're allowed to have bad days. So if you're one of those mothers that feels like you're a little bit less than, particularly in comparison to other people's lives, just remember that they're probably just putting on their best face for you. So, um, you know, I'm doing that specifically in the way that I record my videos. I actually have my husband taking my daughter completely out of the house for a whole day that allows me to change outfits in between videos and do my hair and do my makeup and keep things quiet. But in reality, my life isn't this picture perfect either. So maybe one day I'll shoot a video of our house when it's at its messiest with the toys everywhere and Piper screaming in the background and our dog needing to go for a walk but we can't because it's raining because like that's the chaos of motherhood and that's the chaos of life and we need to just be able to embrace that and I think that that needs to start with having more open conversations about some of the challenges that we face. So um, I hope that that has given you a bit of insight into my world and inspired you to perhaps be a little bit more authentic in your motherhood. And if you are struggling, know that you are definitely not alone. Um, and that's why it is really important that you f find your support network. So thanks for listening.